Hello and welcome to my channel, Tech Expert Tutorials. Today we are going to show you how to extract text using Microsoft Azure Cloud Vision. In previous videos, we showed you how to use Google Cloud Vision and AWS TextRact for text extraction. Now we will cover how to set up the service on the Azure console. Then we discuss the code for the demo. Next, we run the code and look at the output. Finally, we show you the results of the extraction, especially the accuracy of the text. Let's get started. First, we're going to need to create a computer vision resource. You'll see it here if you've used it recently. If not, you just type in computer vision. Next, we're going to click on create. Okay, from here, we pick the subscription that you want to use. I'm going to create a new resource group. That way, when I'm finished, I can clean this up just based on the resource group, any of the resources that I've created. Give that a name. Pick your region. I'm going to select West US. The name of my computer vision resource. You can select whatever you see here. I'm going to select free for now, but you can select standard if you're a paying customer. Okay, it looks like that one's already been taken, so I'll just modify it slightly. From here, I'm going to review and then create. Oh, don't forget to check this box. Okay, so I'm finished. I'm going to go ahead and review and create this. Next, I'll go to resource. So this will open up your resource to details. From here, I need to manage some keys. So the keys are already created. From here, I can copy the key that I need to the clipboard. I'll also need this endpoint to run my code later. So I can copy that also and save that. And now we'll cover the code. This code you'll find in a repo. I'll make that available at the end of the video in the description. So I'll load the Python notebook. I'm using a Jupyter notebook for this demo. So here's the repo. Like I say, I'll put that in the description below. If you need an account, you can run this code from the command line, or you can go to the console, as I've shown you before. The key piece here, you need to install the SDK for Azure. This is how I created my environment. And to get this running in Jupyter Labs, I run this ipykernel command. Okay, first I need to import a couple of basic packages, OS and Sys. You have two options here. You can either set up environment variables in your environment, or you can access from a settings.json file. This is what the settings.json file should look like. It'll just have the region and the key. The key is the one you copied earlier. Okay, in this bit of code, you're loading the SDK functions that you need. You set the region and the key from the settings that I showed you earlier. We set up a variable called credentials from that key. We set up a client from the computer vision client inside of the SDK. This is where you're going to be using your endpoint. So once you've created the client, you use that client later on. We also have to include another module. Here's a URL for an image, just a sample image. I also have an image on my local drive. I have the option here either to use a file or a URL. So I'll show you both versions in this code. So if type, then you see an HTTP response coming back. Otherwise, I'm just going to be reading the image. And I'll be reading this in stream instead of a direct read. Next, I import the time module. I'll be using that in a sleep statement later. You'll see why I need that in a few minutes. I set up a few variables here. This is from the headers, from the response. This is just an integer variable. I'll be using this operation ID inside of the get read result. So this is where the actual code is running and getting the text out of the OCR service. So I have get read result for the operation. The reason why I have this sleep here is because this is asynchronous. So if you were just to run this directly without waiting for it to finish, then it may not be finished by the time you run the next line of code. So this is basically waiting for this get read result to come back with a status of success. Otherwise, it just keeps going through this loop. And I put the sleep here because I only wanted to check every one second. And I put this line of code to make sure that it succeeded. So here I'm checking if it succeeded. From the results, you're going to go ahead and try to get the lines out of the results. So you look at the first variable in the list that came out. And I print that line. So I print the lines that came back. I can also print a bounding box, which is just the X and Y coordinates, uh, upper left, lower right, so that you can see what area of the image the text was extracted from. Then the last thing I do is I draw the image. 
so I can compare what's on the image to the text that came back from the OCR service. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and run this. So shift enter. We'll get you cell by cell. You can see so far everything's working okay. Okay, here's where you're going to run the call to the service. See, that was very quick. And it was successful. So we should have results coming back. This is what came back from the OCR. And this is the image that I'm using. I'm going to look for sample Janus Ann in my output. You see sample Janus Ann. Looks like it's in the right location. 123 Main Street. Parts of the image are going to be difficult to read. The OCR will fail in some of the text in this image, like Liberty is going to be difficult for it to read. Depending on how readable the text is, will determine how successful this service is in extracting the text. Just as a rough estimate, I would say it's 90 to 95% accurate. That's all I have for today. See you next time.